Hello guys, Keith Wright on TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes. And as well, if you haven't dropped the sub, make sure to smash that subscribe button. Because, um, yeah, I mean, the subs in the last couple of days have actually been going up um, more than recently as well. So, yeah, if you have um, been enjoying the videos the past 28 days or so and have not been subscribed, make sure to smash the subscribe, subscribe button. We are so, so close to 3,200 subscribers as well, so let's see if we can get that done in the next couple of days or so. But in today's video, it's going to be a transfer video. Now, of course, the trans the January transfer window opens in just over a week's time. And there's been a report, this is nu numerous reports on this, there's numerous um, articles um, talking about this. So Ipswich Town have, have inquired about Birmingham City Man on loan. Uh, of course, that man is Jay Stansfield. He is on loan with us. He is a Fulham player. But they have, um, Ipswich Town have um, inquired about him for uh, a permanent transfer. Now, of course, Jay Stansfield has got five goals and one assist for us this season in the Championship. Of course, he scored against Ipswich as well. He, sco he, has, he has scored some bangers for us as well. The one against Plymouth at St Andrews, the one away at Southampton, yes, that might have turned out to be a consolation goal, but still, it got us back in the game. So, um, yeah, Ipswich Town looking to add more firepower to their, to their squad. Now, of course, Ipswich Town are a club that wasn't expected to be in second place this time in the season. Um, we're nearly halfway through and they're like 10 points a clear of third place. Leeds United, I believe it is, or Southampton in third. But yeah, um, Colin Chaplin... They've got him in the team. I think Jay Stansfield, if he was to go to Plymouth, uh, to Ipswich Town, sorry, um, he would. Um, I don't. I don't know if it's do Ipswich Town play two up top. If they if they if they play two up top, then maybe. But if they just play one up top, Connor Chaplin, I can't see him getting into Ipswich's team. I think he'll be like an impact player off the bench and help them get over the line in terms of them getting promoted to the Premier League. I can't see um, Jay Stansfield starting for Fulham. They scored five back to back um, a couple of uh, weeks ago. Um, now this is obviously the risk of um, signing players on loan, especially if there's a recall option, which I do believe there is. Um, Ipswich Town may be uh, able to offer more than three million pounds and give him a 15k a week. Why well, can't I? I can't see us actually. I, can't, I may be in the summer, but I can't see us spending three million pounds on Jay Stansfield, especially with FFP. Um, but yeah, this is obviously going to be a big, big blow. I know five goals is not that great in terms of what other um, you know championship strikers have got. But, but don't forget, they're playing in better teams. They're playing in teams with more confidence um, and more chemistry as well. Jay Stansfield, it would be obviously it would be a massive blow if he, if he was to um, be recalled by Fulham and then go to Ipswich Town. Of course, that would have. That would mean that, we, by the way, we don't get a transfer fee for Jay Sandsfield as well. That's another big, big blow if this does happen. And as well, um, Jay Sandsfield, well, we've got Jay Sandsfield currently, as it stands, Jay, Jay Sandsfield, Hogan and Luke Zukovic. Hogan, I think, is going to leave in January. Jay Sandsfield, if he goes in January, that actually leaves us with Luke Zukovic. That means we have to find another striker to replace Jay Sandsfield in the January transfer window. And I think that'd be an absolute nightmare. In terms of FFP, in terms of you know getting that right striker, there's no guarantee that it will work out. You've got all of that to worry about. So the giant transfer window is going to be a big, big one. Well, I, I think this, I'm, I mean next summer is going to be a big, big transfer window for Birmingham City Football Club. But it's going to be an I, I, I'll take that back. It's going to be an interesting giant transfer window to see what happens with this Jay Stansfield situation and with the likes of Hogan. Is he going to stay? Is he going to go? And with the likes of Ivan Sunic as well, he's only got six months left in, on his contract. In a couple of weeks' time, clubs are allowed to talk to him about a possible move in the summer. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's been Keep, on keep Right on TV here. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we can hit 100 likes. Thanks for watching as always, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. As I said, keep right on.